welcome back everyone, I'm Craven and this is Terra Nigma. Between the episodes I did a lot of things. <laughs> I took a picture in every city over the entire planet so we can show them off at the tourism board here and then let them know everything. So I'm thinking it's probably mainly for uh, the Sun Coast because they need tourism because nobody knows where it is. So I think if we do that, we can trigger an event there. Uh, and I also grind it for money, so we could help our big old bird friend that was captured in freedom, which is very typical, a town called freedom, locking up my birds. And I've got enough cash uh, to buy the shirt here, but I think I'm gonna hold that off a little bit until we went by all the other towns, because I wanna see if we can get another town to max status, just like freedom is. Uh, what kind of stuff there will be in their store. If there's going to be a shirt that's even higher, I want it. I also did check on the red armor that we got from the mosque. And it does increase your strength. And even though I didn't notice it, it does also drop your defense. So it's basically making you a lot stronger. But you need to make sure you don't get hit as much. That's basically what it is. And I think the reason we didn't see much of it is because... Uh, the damage that the enemies did were not that much. So I'm thinking if they do like 20 or 30 damage, the difference would be more noticeable. And of course, hurt a lot more. So, like I said, I uh, prepared for today a lot. So, what are we gonna do? We're gonna buy out our bird and hopefully bring him back to the bird sanctuary. I don't know if we can talk to the bird because we don't have that knowledge anymore. I also wanna go back to the guy uh, with the uh, camera at least, because we use it everywhere. Uh, I also want to go back to the winery and the girls with the fashion, because we gave them to freedom and it grew the city a lot up. So I want to see if we can get a reward from that at that side of the pond. And who knows, maybe that will trigger something as well. I will also go to Greenland because of a comment from the girl here saying uh, these flowers are for penguins and little girls. And we know which little girl did because we did it straight away when we bought those flowers. But only now I'm making the connection with penguins because we saw a lot of those in Greenland. So I'm hoping maybe if we have it and we interact with all the penguins, maybe we can get there something as well. Because we are still looking for a way to preserve fish. And if anyone knows how to preserve fish, it might be the penguins. It could be a far out thought, but uh, at least we can check it out. So let's first start with freeing our friend, the big bird. Let's see where I, oh, I think it's in the backs of the stores. <laughs> Illegal trade. <laughs> You can always wonder, would I have been this upset if it wasn't a friend of mine? We'll never know. <laughs> a bird this big? I'm in a bind. Nobody wants to buy this bird. Hey buddy, you wanna buy a bird? I'll make a hefty roast chicken. Yours for just 5,000 gems. I'll pay, but you've got to set it free. <laughs> You're so kind. Well, so long as I get paid, I don't care what you do with it. I'll free the bird from the cage later on. Oh, you better do it. Because I'm the hero who resurrected everybody. And if I can resurrect you, I can always end you. So, please do so. Is it already going to be once I switch screens? It is. Like we promised, I let that bird loose. That's what you wanted, right? Yes, that's what I wanted. So we will have to go by Bird Sanctuary to see what's happening there. And we already talked to the rest of the town, so I think we're done here. The only thing potentially we have at the moment here is the shirt that we can buy in the store. That's it. Like I said, I'm gonna hold it off until we've maxed out other cities to see if they have other stuff there or if they're gonna sell the same shirt. Could be, right? So, okay, so next up on the list. I say Bird Sanctuary, because it's actually really close by, isn't it? 
Alright, let's see if Mr. Big Bird is gone. I mean, I mean, is back again. And we can get some reaction of it. Who knows, maybe because he's so big and wise, he's one of the few birds I can still talk to. Sorry! <laughs> Didn't mean to break your head, birdie. Just had to get rid of it. Ah, oh, he left me a magic rock. Nice. Oh well, I'm hoping that uh, he's happy that I released him. That I still remembered our friendship from before. Alright, we can scratch that off the list. So, what do we want to do next? I'm thinking of going by Greenland, because we need to go to uh, South America to do that, because that's where the bird is that flies over there. And it's still reasonably close, we can just move over land to get there. So, let's head over to Greenland. <laughs> well, on the way over here, I did tend to forget that I didn't deliver the pictures, but uh, we can fix that, because I do think that's in freedom as well. But first, let's equip some flowers, and hopefully eight will be enough. Wait, 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 uh, I want to try this as well. Can I take a picture of this, because I haven't tried it? No, no pictures of penguins, sadly. <laughs> I think those will probably be very hard to talk to. So, I guess if someone will react, it will probably be one specific penguin. So we need to see if we can talk to as many of them as we can. Ark lost pretty flower. In return, obtained Starstone from Penguin. Okay. So the clue was right. Ah, oh, this is a flower in the hair. Okay, I want to talk to the other penguins as well, but I think this is it. I think this is the one gift we want. But who knows? Maybe we can uh, make some other penguins happy as well. It's basically just to make uh, sure <laughs> we don't miss out on anything. Well, at this point, I do wish I could talk to them. Uh, this time I will uh, <laughs> not eat your fish. Because I don't think he liked that when I did that. Yeah, it doesn't seem like any of the others have a reaction to my presence here, other than why? In a moment we'll check what the Starstone is. Maybe it's an item we can use to create a weapon of some kind. A very great painter, especially by penguin standards. Okay, I think that's it. Alright, so I need to be in the town in order to get into my box. To be presented to the hero's grave. Have we ever seen a hero's grave? Okay, so I'm guessing we just have to be lookout. The first thing uh, that comes to mind is Asterica or something is called. It was like an altar in a separate place. Could that be the hero's grave? Mm, if we have time today, we will check that out as well. Definitely worth doing something with this. All right, let's equip uh, our camera again. And let's find that Taurus board and deliver these uh, pictures. Yeah, and there's gonna be a lot of back and forth uh, today just to uh, get everything done. I don't think the traveling between the places is necessary because we've been there multiple times the normal way, so we all know where it is. So, I see you when I'm in the tourist building. Tourism! 
think we're here. <laughs> oh, you have photos from many places. May I see them? Inform? Thank you. Where is it? We will share information with the people. Let's... Yes, inform everybody. Yeah, and that's every town I could take picture of because I've been to Laza, I've been to Mosque and places like that as well, but we weren't allowed to take any pictures there, so we couldn't inform them. So if I'm correct, we should be having a difference at Suncoast because of doing it, because they needed the tourism. So Suncoast next. Alright, let's see if us having shown the pictures around changed anything here. It's not the gift shop. We need to go to their board meeting. Uh, if we had access. Okay, didn't the pictures do anything? Because it did promote you worldwide in other places. I heard there are flying machines that care of people if we had one. Okay, maybe we need to go back to Will in Near Lake in order to procure one for them. Or at least that they can uh, get an airstrip. Because I don't think there's any other place that would be knowledgeable in making it, right? I might not see many strangers. <laughs> oh, you're, you're gonna have a lot of strangers. Because I'm gonna grow this town big if you want to or not. Because we want to get the most out of this. Alright, so... I think we need to go all the way back to Near Lake in order to... Uh, check if uh, we can actually order a plane for them. Or at least an airstrip so people can land here with an airplane. Maybe we need to go by Rich in order to get enough money for it. Oh. Uh, and remember that hero place I just mentioned? I think I want to check that out as well because it's along the way back to Near Lake. So if I can find it, I will see you there. Ah, it wasn't that far off with the name. Because this does look like a place of worship, doesn't it? So I don't know if this is the hero's grave, but... Like I said, I have no idea what this is, so I was ready to try it. There's no point in holding up a star stone here. Okay, so there's got to be something that we need to put in the goblet, but... Who knows? Okay, so this is at least not it. So where would the hero's grave be then? Hmm. Well, we'll figure it out. Okay, so... Near Lake it is. Alright, we're back here again. Along the way, I did stop by the... Well, let's call it the portal where we started this entire game off in when we uh, left Krista. Thinking, if I'm the hero, that's where I started. So maybe that's where they might put a grave or something. That sounded logical to me, so I checked it, there's nothing there but the save point, just like when it was when we started everything. So, we'll just have to keep an eye out, and of course, also listen to see if there are any hints anywhere. Oh hi, isn't air travel great? I've got a favor to ask, if you know of a town that wants air travel, give them these. Even distant lands can be made accessible by air with airfields. Can you do this for me? Sure. I just take those airfield plans, right? You will? Oh, thanks. I'm counting on you. Okay, so this is definitely for Suncoast, but... What if we got more of these? Could we place an airfield near every town? That would make air travel actually viable. Will made his airplane. It really flies great. He said he'll take Pearl and everyone at Kin uh, Kingard up. I'm sure it will. 
Uh, it does seem that it's only one, isn't it? Well, we know definitely that uh, Sun Coast uh, wants it, so... Let's uh, go back there and see if they can do anything with it. And of course, that after we uh, show them the plans, if we still have it. If we still have it, we can go to numerous places in order to try to get some airstrips there as well. So actually, in short, those pictures we showed off at Freedom didn't do shit so far. <laughs> well, maybe it's like a, a the next step after we've uh, made the airstrip. Uh, hello? I am carrying it, right? Yes. So maybe it's uh, another person to give it to. Who's the leader of you four? What, what, what's that you have there? What? You can make places for flying machines to land with that? We were just discussing ways of attracting more people here. May we have those? Sure. The guy who gave me them wants to see more airfields built. This is great. With these, more people will be able to come here. I'll get the young folks together to make this airfield. Beautiful. Let's hope uh, we just have to get out of town and back into it. And maybe then they will grow another step. And hopefully there will be more new people here. Which in turn will also create more opportunities for other things to trigger. Having done that, I might as well have a nice sleepover. Because I'm pretty sure once they uh, get more tourism, the prices will skyrocket. And if they don't change, we can always uh, go to Loire and Litz, where we still want to see change happen as well. And after we wake up, I have to uh, dive into my chest. I want to see if we still have the plans. Nope, so it's definitely just for here. Let's uh, wait until we get something new. Because like I said, I, I took pictures from everywhere, so that's not the change we're looking for. Hmm. I wonder how, long, how much time we'll need to pass, or how many ins and outs we need to make in order for the airstrip to appear. Oh, well, I'm sure it will be there soon. Oh. I just realized something. Maybe we need to talk to them and they might need some materials of some sort that we might need to get for them. Especially this guy. Maybe this will go pretty young girls will come? Maybe. We'll meet it every day. I get the young ones to make this airfield. Ah, we're going to build the village around the airfield. Okay, at least they're all talking about building the airfield, at least. Alright, so I'm guessing it is just time. So maybe after we do the next dungeon, the airfield will be here. Like I said, just com let's complete the things we know about. And afterwards, we can uh, come and check. Alright. Where were they living? <laughs> I think the cameraman was somewhere around here. Tools repaired, Crossman Pierre. With your help, I was finally able to show it uh, to other people. Mm -hmm. Everybody now knows your pictures. <laughs> listen, listen! A person recognized my talent. He says he's going to support me so I can paint as much as I want. But I'm happier because someone liked my paintings enough to do this. 
I'm gonna do my best for the people who like my paintings. Uh, at least we made his uh, life uh, fulfilling, and that's, of course, an accomplishment in on itself. All right. So where will the other two be? Like the fashion girls and the winery. I think they are both next to each other. My workers have all left me. What has entered their minds? So where are they? <laughs> I guess we have to find them. They probably moved into another house. Well, we did have a real estate agent here, right? Since the upgrade. Ooh, it's bigger here. Well, I got tired of hard liquor. <laughs> Uh, give some to my lady friend. <laughs> Since I gave you that wine, more people have come looking for it. I'm too busy to just keep up with the demand. Okay, so I hope you're happy with I made you rich. <laughs> Ooh. I came to study here because I heard they made a fantastic drink. We get so much orders, it's hard to just keep up. That's brilliant. Nice uh, glass of wine to start up today. Alright, I think those two were living here. Well, it is empty, so people could use it. Merrily opened her own boutique. I'm going to be a frequent customer. Yeah, but where is it? I was starting about starting a business here. There's many people move here. A real estate agent is needed. It could be, but I think we need to grow the place up one more notch for you. Same thing with the person here, because I think that's the furniture store. Ah, there it is. We left the madam's shop so we can help merrily. We left madam's shop. Yes. After I gave you those clothes, I started getting many orders. I can now run my own boutique. It's nice to see them all so successful, but it does mean that... I think I don't have any more ideas on what to do, I think I've depleted all my options at this time. I think the only one that I might have triggered something is uh, the airstrip at Sun Coast. The key to this town's growth is stimulation of its economy. Trade with other countries will affect the future of this town. So, it is 100%, that means it's ready to grow, right? So maybe it's just like with the uh, airstrip. Uh, the story needs to progress in order to uh, facilitate the growth, I can see that. Right, so, is Litz gonna be the same? Uh, I don't think going back to Litz has any point, because there's nothing we've changed there. We still haven't found any way to prolong Fish's life. Who knows, maybe we can create commerce. I think it's time for us to go ahead and check out the new dungeon we have. Because I can't think of anything else we still need to do right now. No. Okay, so let's uh, head over back to uh, Freedom, take the airplane, and go to Musk. Because I think uh, we need to go to Baruga's lab next and see what's up. Alright, we've already been into this town, we've bought everything that we liked, like the, the red armor, which I think might be very beneficial while fighting bosses. So the only thing we have to do here is get into the laboratory. And I'm calling it laboratory because we, what we've learned about Baruka, he is a scientist and he's here, somewhere in this, I think. Let's uh, just uh, go on a stroll. We do have a weapon, so there is going to be enemies here. 
But yeah, I think we just need to move in one direction and hope we'll uh, get somewhere. I'm just hoping that we'll find a way to turn on the lights. It's not totally dark, but it will help if you can see where we're going. Ah, Arc pressed the switch, the light turned on. Damn, this looks a little bit like the reactor from Final Fantasy VII. Like a macro reactor. Oh well, whatever keeps the light uh, on, I suppose. Alright, this already feels at least a little lot better. Because this way we won't miss any chest if they are out of our sight. What the hell? Robots? Damn, Ruger was really advanced. Well, I did uh, dabble in nanotechnology, so you do need to be advanced if you want to do that. Yeah, this is one of those places that I would probably have missed if I couldn't turn the lights on. Okay. I don't know what it is, but let's take it with us. We're definitely doing enough damage, that's for sure. Nice amount of cash. Ooh! I think uh, part of the reason why we're doing a reasonable amount of damage is because I grinded for money in order to buy uh, the clothing and releasing the bird. So right now I'm level 31. And it might be a little bit over leveled at this point, but it is a consequence <laughs> when you're grinding for cash. It's not that bad. It will make sure we uh, stay alive through the coming levels. I'm sure we'll catch up at some point. I mean, that the enemies will start doing enough damage again. Or press the switch. Okay, so we are reactivating the laboratory. So first one was lights. What did we activate now with this? Well, we did see robots near a conveyor belt, so maybe we activated them and started working. And does it mean that we'll also activate another portion of the laboratory? That we're doing it now actually in the right order. Yep, there they are. Hard at work. <laughs> or hardly working, of course. Alright, so we saw one more path at the beginning we could take. Ooh, an elevator. I wonder if uh, this would have worked if we hadn't activated the second one. I'm guessing one is up and the other is down. That's why I pressed the left one first, because I was thinking, oh, it needs to go up. <laughs> okay. It's going a long way down. Well, if the world's going to be destroyed, you want to go as deep underground as you can to negate any type of disturbance on there. <laughs> So you had a good uh, idea. Wow. It's an actual laboratory. I wonder what these are for. Is that like for bioengineering or something? Okay, this seemed like we need to get there from the other side. Hmm. Am I missing something? It is definitely pushable. Hmm. 
Was there another way we could go? Maybe we need to go further down? I have like bombs or anything that I can use in order to uh, work it and I haven't seen any other switches just yet and don't see any damage here it's not like you can bro break the chain and uh, do something about it Let's see if we can push one of these And we did try hitting them, so we know that that doesn't work, at least. Ah, this one looked different. <laughs> so easily missed. Why do those things look like a human shape inside? Oh, it might be the place where they make the robots. Ooh, damn. Be strong. Or it could be a teleportation system that uh, will get us to the other side. Because if that's the case, then I want to check this way first. Really, shoot through the walls. You nasty. Alright, might be a way back as well. Yes, teleportation. Well, it had to be one of the two, right? Can, can jump to the other side? Another couple of telepo- <laughs> I don't want to teleport to that one. I will go straight into the abyss. Oh, can you stop it? So, I think my defense is pretty decent at this point because of the level. I think or else that would have been very, very painful. Let's, let's jump into this one. And now? <laughs> Oh, I want that. Oh well. So what's the point? Activated something else. Maybe now we can use those teleports for something. And this is the way back. So I want to check uh, the teleports out. Let's see if there's anything different in that room. No, that's uh, still the same. So it's probably something on the way back, or we are now allowed to go even deeper with the elevator. No, I want to kill everyone. Because even though I say we have a pretty decent level at the moment, I do like having more. <laughs> I'm not greedy, I just want to have it all. 
And it does feel good, uh, kicking the shit out of enemies. Yep, another layer down. Good. So it's basically what we're doing in the dungeon right now. It's getting layer upon layer upon layer. Good. Okay, it looks like we have another complete layer here and some incredible cubism here. But I think I'm gonna leave it here. I think we're about halfway through the dungeon. So next time we're gonna finish off the dungeon and afterwards, of course, depending on what's gonna happen after we resurrected the guy, uh, we're gonna go at least by Loire, because that one was on 100%. And of course, also Suncoast, other places. Let's see if they have grown, maybe gather up some more people, and in the process, maybe give us some more different types of items we can trade with other places, so we can make them grow as well. Because like I said, I want to do my utmost to get all towns to maximum level before the end of the game. Because I know it's a side quest, but there has to be a reward at the end of it if we totally resurrect the entirety of the world, right? So, that's what we're going to do next time. Until then, I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. And if you're still here, hit that like button, subscribe, and be back next time to see what's at the bottom of this factory. Because I presume it's going to be a cryogenically frozen Baruga. But there's only one way to find out, and that's to be here next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>